Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, French Member of Parliament Dino Sinieri leaves French Azerbaijan Friendship Group. The carpet rescued in Shushi did not have a permanent address. January 10, 1916, the Battle of Azrum began. At the Azerbaijanis demanded that a soldier change his religion, who had a cross, it was either taken or destroyed, human rights defender, pedagogy of genocide committed against the Armenians. The films about Ferrand Ting will soon be presented to the subscribers. Armenia won the world competition among 3,950 participants from 115 countries. Speech by the Member of Parliament Dino Sinieri. Why Armenians celebrate Christmas and a great hope that this holiday of peace begins. I am horrified to see how Azerbaijan kills and tortures Armenian captives and civilians in the worst way, burning crosses on their shrines. These captives wear the cross as a tattoo, remaining true to their face. This barbaric behavior is unbearable and does not correspond to the Member of State of Council of Europe and the regime operating with the framework of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. Having penetrated into Artsakh on September 27, 2020, Azerbaijan wanted us to believe that this is a simple territorial problem. A year later, contrary to international conventions, captives of war are still being held in Azerbaijani prisons. The regime is taking another step of abuse, inventing new forms of anti-Christian torture. The Armenian sons of the first Christian nation have been thoughtfully and familiarly wearing a cross symbolizing their face for 2,000 years. Today, Azerbaijan removes this religion just symbol from under its clothes, burns and destroys it, causing torture suffering to Armenian people, which is already crossing the border. Therefore, I decided to resign from the French Azerbaijan Friendship Group in order not to approve a style of work filled with hatred, which obviously reveals the desire of one nation to destroy its culture and face. 106 years after the genocide of Armenian people, the purpose of which was to extermination of Armenians, history repeats itself. There can be no friendship with the tortures. In all conscience, I can accept it. Today, I am handing over the chairman of National Assembly of my regiment of the French Azerbaijan Friendship Group. Nothing was excavated from the state and private museums and galleries operating in Shushi during the 44-day war. Everything was left to the Azerbaijanis except for carpets. In February last year, a temporary exhibition of Shushi carpets opened in the Tamanyan Yerevan Museum Institute of Architecture. The founder of Carpet Museum says that both he and the director of Tamanyan Museum, Mark Rigorian, hoped that there would be a permanent corner for carpets in Shushi, but they were not found. The founder of the Carpet Museum said that he was able to send half of the 300 carpets of Armenia from this legacy, and that half is now homeless. The Minister of Culture of Artsakh, Lusinek Arakhanyan, emphasizes that the carpets will definitely be transported to Artsakh. It's just but there is a storage of buildings at the moment. According to her, the Armenian identity of Artsakh has been preserved on the carpets of Shushi. By the way, Azerbaijan has already brought a complaint to UNESCO that all this is stolen from Azerbaijani culture. The capital of Western Armenia, Karin, is located in the southern eastern part of Azrum, at the headwaters of Euphrates and Yeras, about 4 km northeastern of the Altbat Gung Ridge. The battle of one of the most important centers of Western Armenia, Karin, took place between the Turkish army and the troops of Caucasian Front of the Russian army from January 10 to February 16, 1916. The Caucasian army of Russia defeated the third Turkish field army and occupied the strategically important city of Karin, thereby operating in way deep into the territory of Ottoman Empire. The fact that Azerbaijan developed a policy of hostility after the war testifies the new forms of torture against Armenian captives. Armenian Ombudsman Arman Tatoyan wrote about this on his Facebook page. For example, Azerbaijan employees demanded that an Armenian serviceman renounce Christianity and convert to Islam, that is to change his religion. When an Armenian serviceman refused to comply with the demand, his legs were burned, severely beaten, including the ones who had a cross. The cross was either taken away or destroyed. When our captives demanded to return the crosses, they were severely beaten or bullied. I am making this publication so that both our and international community know what a real situation is and what violations of rights are taking place, he wrote. 
At the end of 2021, the writer Denis Tonikian presented as the fruits of his long work. The small encyclopedia of genocide of Armenian people, consisting of 700 pages, is a book of struggle. The foreword was written by Turkish publisher and human rights defender Rajib Sarakolu, who was periodically imprisoned for treating Turkey's national minorities well and publishing certain cases of genocide committed against Armenians. Thanks to well-documented research in terms of history, the author presents in detail the homage to young Turks Kemalist Epochs and concludes their books with its current era. We want to remind you that January 19 is approaching, the day of official independence of Western Armenia, the 15th anniversary of the assassination of Franz Dink, the founder of the chief editor of Agos Weekly, is approaching in connection with which writer-director Umid Givang has made a film on which he had been working for a long time. An hour-long piece entitled Beyond Memory, a film for Grand Dink, will be broadcast for the first time on the website of the Grand Dink Foundation on January 13 and 8 p.m. The film will also be broadcast on the channels Umid Givark, VMO and YouTube channels. The film features some performances and words by Hrant Ding. According to director, Hrant's talent was his strong, influential, insightful and evocative skills that made people doubt their beliefs, explore, learn, risk abandoning their own stereotypes, making decisions and initiating new actions. In fact, Hrant was an honest person. A canonist laureate in several international contests, Mariana Gevor can become the main winner of Global Cultural Initiative World Folk Vision, contest in the category of Music of the People of the World, where she introduced the national instrument canon. The talented Armenian woman won the main prize of Grand Prix among 3,950 participants from 115 countries. It's worth remembering that 2020 she became the winner of main prize. The talented canonist participating in many festivals of national and international competitions Petitions, where she introduced Armenia and Armenian music. In particular, in a recent international competition in India, she received the first award of special award, Music Ambassador. Mariana Gevorkian is unique in the sense that she not only introduces Armenian music and culture to the other nations, but also introduces Armenian music with foreign musicians. The talented Mariana Gevorkian is currently a soloist of Comitas Chamber Music Houses, Dagaran said. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.